to present you the uh, tool that I've been developing uh, during my PhD. This is one of my developments. Uh, it's called the DALPS tool. DALPS stands for Design of Ultra Lightweight Building Systems, which was one of the courses we did in Politecnico di Milano for with the students and the tool was developed to help them in their design. So coming to the PhD, uh, as it's about uh, refugee tents and in here we can see we have like structures that have very large deformations like membranes, cables, bending rods and uh, if you design something it's not straightforward how is it actually going to behave so in this sense we need some kind of simulation to understand if it's going to be right or, or wrong or is it going to stand or not so in uh, for this what i've developed is uh, an interactive tool which basically helps you to design your structures so here on the left the designer inputs the scheme of the design let's say you design a rod and then you start tightening it with the cables and on the right you can see how does it actually um, perform and you can see all the deformations the rod curvature analysis with numerical values and you can see it's quite um, interactive and the thing here is you can work in a simplified model which is on the left you don't need to build all these curvature uh, things but it's later on uh, created as a result of the simulation so we can add membranes we can add anchor points where it will hold we can do the curvature and strain analysis of uh, the membranes um, we can add also rigid objects uh, here, as you can see, or the rigid objects, they can be um, like completely rigid, which uh, whenever they are connected to each other, the connections are identified and it acts as one uh, object or they can be hinged. So whenever a hinged object is created, you can see that they are free to rotate whenever, wherever they are joined. So now, how does this help to design? Well, um, here are some examples on the left you can see the schematic uh, form sort of of the tent and on the right you can directly see how it performs so the designer needs only to draw what's on the left and some other examples like here uh, the getting the shape on the right is not really straightforward if you try to design it in the conventional um, software and you may wonder if the shape is right or not but then since it's simulated now you can be sure that this is pretty much close to what's it going to be in the reality and here again like it this one has a hybrid uh, frame uh, some the green parts are rigid bars and then the blue parts are bending active rods like bamboo poles or something else or gfrp rods and then you can see that it has the curvature in the rods and then the straight lines and then the fabric also works in incorporating in it and here again another example like you, you if you use a gfrp rod with this um, boundary conditions you may end up with this um, vaulted form which is really uh, unpredictable in a way that if you design it you may not know that this is the shape that you are going to happen to have in the end but if you simulate it you will know it beforehand so i'll demonstrate it in the use so if we go back to like Rhino here, um, now what happens here, we just draw the model on the left. So there are layers and I'll turn off everything so we can start seeing each of these um, separately. So here are the rods, just uh, basic polylines here and then uh, the membranes which are just the surfaces I used these four point surface you can use lofts you can use three point surface and then um, here I'll turn on the rendered view or maybe shaded one and then we have our um, encores with some of them are for the uh, uh, the frames and some of them are for the cables. So these are the cables and if I turn on also the rods. So this is the sort of the bearing structure and I have also the rigids which are here in order to make sure the membrane stays completely on the floor in here. 
and we have the membranes themselves. So this is basically what the designer has to input uh, into Rhino, which is very uh, easy. And then what happens here is you get the um, simulated thing. Now I'll go a bit into it in detail. So I'll turn off the cutting patterns for now and then I'll reset. So it has two simulation solvers. First one is the just the geometry simulation, which simulates the geometry and I'll pause it. Then the second solver is a structural analysis. So it has incorporated structural analysis plugin called K2 Engineering. And uh, the structural values like real stiffness values are transferred. If you select each one of these elements here in the properties, you can see that you have a set of parameters. So one set of parameters is used for just the simulation and another set is used for the structural analysis. Here like K2 strength is what describes uh, how strong they are in the simulation. And if it's written with K2, then it's just for the form finding and the rest are for the actual structural analysis like uh, young modulus or density and so on. Um, here now, um, if we simulate, we can see uh, how it works, but let's say we want a different behavior. We want to adjust something. So like this slantedness is too much. We want to loosen a bit the cables. We can select them. These are in the layers of cables. And here we have K2 uh, strength. And if I decrease this number, for example, we can see that now they're not so strong. And also we can um, specify the pretension length. So now it's zero. So it means the cables are trying to shrink as much as possible. Then I'll probably increase this a bit more. And then, for example, if I select all the rods, which are here, and then if I decrease the strength, you can see that they are now deforming more under the stresses coming from the membrane. If I put like even a lower number, you can see that they can barely hold the membrane and they're, you know, collapsing. But this is, uh, so this one, the K2 strength is an arbitrary value, whereas these rests are actually participating in the real, um, structural analysis in here if you if I turn this on and I refresh the K2 engineering and I turn on this one it creates the um, structural analysis now several things uh, we can see here as well for example we can uh, display the rod curvature analysis which is real time in here or we can uh, display the mesh um, curvature or mesh strain to see where we have tension or contraction. And then what we can also do here is the analysis of the internal space uh, under the covered area. So if you go down here, there is this analyze, the simulation has to be turned off. So the analyze will take place if we turn this on. Uh, here what it shows is it calculates the heights of, of in different positions. So it creates sort of the measurement grid and measures the height of the covered area. And then it gives you the statistics of the um, floor plan in a way that the 68% has a height which is higher than three meters here. And then you can see the lower parts are here and here you can um, watch like if you give a threshold in this case, the um, let me see the lower threshold is 1.4 around, which means that whatever is lower than 1.4 meter, you consider that the area there is not really usable. So uh, it highlights in red the areas where you don't have much um, space to use. So this is another thing. It gives you also the stats about the total co covered area, the highest point, and this is actually for emergency planning where they have a standard of 3.5 me square meters per person. It shows how many person people may fit inside. And then um, if we turn on the cutting patterns, you can see that um, it generates the um, different pieces. 
and based on the dimension that we give here and it creates the hems and distributes and it also um, distributes in them onto a sheet where you can directly send it to the cutting machine so you can specify this is a nesting process which nests in an optimal way to to reduce the material waste uh, yeah this is pretty much um, there are many other features along here which I didn't cover but it basically um, is intended to help people um, draw more intuitively structures like this I mean with you know if you want to design this it's really hard but if you think of it in this way it becomes way easier